this is the carnage after an eight-year-old's birthday party. Yes, that was a cuddly boob on my kitchen side. <laughs> yeah, so this is just the kitchen. Let's show you the other rooms. On the floor, there's a very dirty mat down there now. The kids' room is absolutely trashed. Bed still, because I didn't get a chance to do that today before the party started, because it was in the morning. Telly's on very loud. We've got the kids here doing, Charlie's doing Lego. Table here. I did, I gave everybody um, Easter eggs to take home instead of party bags, and then my children had one each as well. Um, so did I, because there was ones left over. Charlie's doing his Minecraft. So let's get this mess tidied up. I mean, I knew the house was gonna get trashed. It does when you have a child's party. And if your house isn't completely trashed, have you even had a birthday party? I don't think so. Um, so yeah, I'm not one of those mums that runs around tidying up as I go because I wanna chat and enjoy myself with the other people that are there. Whether it's my friends or mums from the school, I just wanna relax really and enjoy my kids' parties. That's always been my philosophy. So yeah, that's that's what I do. And then I just tidy up at the end of it. Um, but yeah, there is. I mean, I did have the foresight to get paper plates and things. I didn't have any um, cups, so I have had to wash rather a lot of cups, but that's fine, it doesn't matter. Um, Charlie had a wonderful eighth birthday party. He said it was what he wanted. And um, yeah, I mean, we had a movie and pizza theme for the party. I'm just getting my recycling out there because there's lots of pizza boxes in that uh, little pot. And when I put the cupcake tray in the bin bag, it split it, so I had to carry that down carefully. Um, yeah, we had a pizza and movie party and then like halfway through the movie, the kids kind of got a bit bored. Um, we downloaded Migration, that's what Charlie wanted to watch. And they did watch a lot of it, but then they decided they wanted to play and they wanted to go outside, which I was really hoping for a dry day because I wanted them to be able to go out in the garden because we've got a trampoline in the garden and garden toys and things. And because then it just like spreads everybody out a bit. Um, so yeah, he's had a lovely day and so did we. But now it's time to knuckle down and get the tidying up done. So you can see I'm having a full on fight with my bin here. <laughs> oh my God, it was a nightmare. I ended up having to take the whole bin lid off and then just very carefully carrying the bin downstairs, the bag. So it had been like smushed down a bit and then like a, a hanger thing that from a clothes, new clothing thing I put on. It got caught in the bag anyway and the whole thing split. That's the end of the, the crux of the matter. That's what happened, but it's all okay now. So I'm just taking the bin lid and I'm giving it a good wash and a spray down because it just feels a bit icky. So I'm gonna get that on and then put a bin bag in the bin and um, yeah, just get the kitchen back into order. When I'm cleaning, I like to listen to music because I find it really motivating and it just helps to pass the time. Sometimes I'll put something on, if I'm in the kitchen, I'll like watch something on the kitchen Alexa, but um, more often than not, I will have the music on and I do like to listen to it fairly loud. Um, it's easier if I'm on my own because obviously when I've got the kids in the house, I still need to be mindful that they might need me. Um, but yeah, I do like to listen to my music fairly loud when I'm cleaning. And today I plumped for Fleetwood Mac. So shout me in the comments if I've got any Fleetwood Mac fans here just uh yeah let me know because i love fleetwood mac um and then my alexa decided she was going to malfunction and the internet wasn't going to work in the kitchen so on the alexa in the hallway i decided to listen to the moana soundtrack because i actually really like that um i like moana i've always liked it when lily was a baby i used to put it on for her and she loved it and she used to like watching it and um, yeah, it's just like put the soundtrack on for her. It's just a fun, good film, I think. So yeah, let me know if you're a Moana fan as well or if any of your kids are. I mean, if you've been around here long enough, you know that I'm a big Disney fan and like we took the kids to Disneyland Paris sort of this time, almost this time last year. We can't believe it's nearly a year ago that we went um, and we can't wait to go back. And yeah, I love all things Disney and yeah. 
try to filter that down to my children. They do love Disney. I'm not pushing it on them, but they do like Disney. And um, yeah, I, I love Disney. There we go, self oppressed My name's Claire and I'm a disney Ochlick. I'm just gonna fold some washing now because um, it's been quite warm in my kitchen today where I've had the oven on for quite a long time cooking pizzas and um, the washing is dried so I'm gonna fold that to put yet yeah, more washing away. It's such a never ending cycle of folding and putting washing away. It drives me crazy but you know, I think this morning I was just folding a huge pile of laundry that I hadn't folded from the day before, like two loads worth and now I'm doing more. It's some kind of like, punishment from the universe perpetual laundry but it also means that we are lucky enough to have enough water to wash our clothes and then electricity to wash our clothes with and we haven't got to do it by hand so for that I am truly grateful I usually only give my kitchen cabinets a wipe down once a week and I did do it on Thursday when I gave the kitchen its weekly big clean but I just feel like I want to freshen it up a little bit after having everybody in the house today and um, yeah kids fingerprints and things so I'm just going to go around and give them all a wipe down and just make the kitchen feel nice and fresh and properly clean for the week ahead. I do find every time I load the dishwasher, I will wipe the dishwasher down and the cabinet next to it, just because like splashes when you're loading it, I don't want to have, you know, stains and things on there during the week. And I find if you just stay on top of it, then when you come to like a big kitchen clean, it doesn't take you as long because you haven't got as much to clean. Now all we've got to do is the floors and then this room is done. I'm working room by room because I find that makes me feel like I'm progressing more. And then each job doesn't feel as big. If I've hoovered one room, as opposed to like doing the whole place in one go, it just makes it feel more manageable, like bite-sized chunks. So I did give the place a quick hoover this morning to get big bits up, but by golly, it doesn't need a good hoovering now after having popcorn and pizza and children and cake and all sorts everywhere. Um, and I've got to do the edges as well because you know, all that stuff gets kicked to the side and you can't forget the edges. I love this mop, it comes everywhere with me. It comes to work with me and it comes home with me. So yeah, I use it at home because it's just easier. I used to just do it by hand with a cloth and spray. Now I have a mop, it's um, wonderful. I really, really like it. So yeah, there we go. So here we are, the kitchen is all clean and I can now move on to the next room, which I think will be the hallway and the stairs. Next room on the list is the stairs and the hallway. So I'm just gonna give everything a dust. I'm gonna take these birthday banners down because they were up uh, for Charlie's birthday last Monday, but also they were, then I took them down because I feel like if they're up all week it's just gonna look cluttered and then they won't look special when they're actually like comes around for the party i'm just getting a sticky mark off there left by the cellar tape and giving the front door a good wipe down so then yesterday on saturday i put the decorations back up ready for his party today so i just i always like to keep my front door looking nice and clean and white without marks and things just because it's the entrance to my home and if that looks nice it just sets a good impression off um, when you first walk through the door. So skirtings and the stairs, these get horrendously mucky, especially now that the weather's getting a bit nicer and the children are going in and out of the house from the garden. And I keep having to wipe my walls down as well because somehow, I don't know how, because I don't kick the wall when I take my shoes off, but my kids seem to kick the wall whenever they take the shoes off and get muddy marks everywhere. I, for the life of me, I don't know why they do it or how they manage to do it, but yeah, mud gets everywhere. So I'm always like, oh my God, who's kicked the wall? Can you please not do that with your shoes, please? Just take them off, wipe them on the mat, take them off and don't like, I don't know, hit them against the wall as you walk up the stairs. I don't know. It's a kid thing. They get If there's a way possible that kids can make mess, 
they will find a way to make the mess, won't they? It's just children. That's just what they do. Um, but it's very frustrating when you're busy and the last thing you want to be doing is re-cleaning things or constantly cleaning stairs. But at the moment, every day, I'm wiping the stairs down because there's just mud everywhere. But, you know, I want them to go outside. I want them to go in the garden. I encourage it. So that's a hit I will take because I don't want them to feel like they can't go out in the garden. Um, I, I just want some nice clean stairs at the end of the day. So there we go. Now I'm taking my little handheld Dyson and doing the edges in the porch area because they get quite icky and mucky and then just going with the little handheld on the stairs. I love this handheld Dyson, it's so, so handy um, because doing the stairs with a big clunky hoover is not that easy to be honest, um, especially when your porch area is quite little like mine. It is a really tiny porch, <laughs> it's um, it's insane. Um, but there we are, it's what we're working with isn't it? So got to roll with it. And now I'm going to start taking down all the happy birthday decorations in the hallway. I and mean, we may have these stainly ones. I love these stainly decorations. I think I got them for like one of the boys' christening parties that we had at the pub. And they've just like lasted. And then I got some pink ones for Lily as well. And then I put them up. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Tell a lie. I did get dangly christening ones, but they were christening ones. These ones are definitely happy birthday ones. They say happy birthday, but the christening ones were just like that, dangly ones. And they're so nice. I think they're really, really lovely. And you can reuse them year after year. So it's like, they were like £2.50 for a pack. And I get them out every single year. And I just think they're really effective and they look really nice. So I'm just giving the hallway a dust because it's a high traffic area and um, yeah, it collects dust basically. So that's what I'm doing and I'm having a little sing and a boogie to whatever Disney song is on at the moment. I think we've moved on to Encanto now because Moana finished. Um, yeah, I like Encanto. I love the soundtrack. Um, it's just like, I don't know, Disney music is just really like uplifting and inspiring, I think, a lot of the, tra a lot of the songs, especially the modern ones. Um, I just love Disney music, so I'm not ashamed of that, uh, you know, I'm 36 year old, but I like listening to Disney. So does Lily actually, when we get in the car together, if it's just me and her, the first thing she says is, can we play Disney music? And then we will di play Disney music and we'll have a little boogie in the car to it, which is great fun. Right, so now I'm just using this fabric refresher that I picked up in Home Bargains the other day. And when Gareth got home, because he popped out, I can't remember, where, can't remember where he went, but he did. He came in and he was like, wow, it smells so clean in here. And I was like, well, I've only done um, the hallway and the kitchen, so don't get too excited. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it really does smell good um, and it makes a difference. Like once you've finished cleaning, spray that around. It just really like finishes it off nicely. So now I'm moving into the living room and as you can tell, it is a complete and utter disaster zone there's dishes there's empty easter egg boxes there's toys oh gosh it's just yeah carnage there are plates everywhere minecraft lego that charlie has been making that he got from his friend for his party so i'm just going to clear all that way i'm going to take all the decorations down I'm having a bit of a fight with the easter tree there as you can see um I'm trying to hang all the eggs back on there i'm going to take all the birthday decorations down give this table a good wipe over because it's yeah a bit, a bit grotty after the party and then just, yeah, get things done in this room. So I don't even remember the last time I cleaned this mirror. Like, I don't know, it was a little while ago. There were some smears on it, it needed doing. It feels really good to get it done though, it really does. And the glass on here as well needed a good clean. Anyway, I'm moving on to the windows now. There was a huge cobweb in there that I'm so glad I got. And Gareth is now taking Zaki out on a bike ride. As you can see, he's got his little helmet on. Um, yeah, there was a massive cobweb here. Um, Cause there had been a spider living up in that left-hand corner. But yeah, so I got rid of all of that. And now I'm just giving this window sill and everything a wipe over. This is very dusty. It was all just so, so dusty. It was awful, honestly. I do need to clean these blinds at some point, but that is such a pain in the ass. It really is it's such a big old job 
because there's just so many like a long window of blinds in the living room it's just not a job that i want to do very regularly at all also an added challenge let me know if you experience this as well because i am you know a little bit vertically challenged and i'm only 5'4 so i can't always reach up everything so like cleaning the higher up bits it's always a little bit of a challenge because I have to have a little step stool. So it's just something extra I have to do. I have to go get the step stool to then climb up onto to get the top of the cabinet or whatever. Um, I'm just going to hoover everything now because boy oh boy it needs hoovering. And I've moved the table out of the way so I can get it, really get under there. Um, now the kids are watching some brain melting stuff on YouTube. I'm not bluey anymore. I have no idea what it is. Um, but there we go. Just utter rubbish that they watch. But um, I'm just tidying up the living room, taking all the happy birthday banners down, putting them away. I'll be getting them out again in a few weeks for Zach's birthday. This is his birthday is three weeks after Charlie's. Um, after Easter, I'll take that Easter bunting down as well because I don't want that up for the whole of spring because it does look a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> I might try and find somewhere else to put that next year. Maybe in the other window might be better. Yeah, yeah the other window would be better. And then all the kids were eating their popcorn on the couch during the... the I can't get my words out. Put your teeth back in, Claire. During the movie, and they were eating popcorn and things, so I felt like I needed to give the couch a good wipe down and then spray all the cushions with the fabric refresher. Um, pull that bottom, like, the sitting on, I don't know what it's called, the seat cushion, and just give that a wipe under there. Surprisingly, it wasn't too bad, actually, and it was okay. Um, I have sort of found things under there before. I'm just going to give all the windows a really quick wipe over. That plant there is a bane of my life. It's, we got it as a, a clipping off of someone's plant when we moved in here. And um, it's flourished despite me ignoring it completely. Um, yeah, so there we go. All the windows given a quick wipe down. Again, ignoring the blinds because I just don't want to do them today. I haven't got the time for it. I am on a bit of a time time pinch here. Um, down here, yeah, all the iPads, the laptops, things. Just a bit of a dust trap. So I have to give all that a wipe over. And um, yeah, just going around with a good old microfiber cloth and giving everything a good dust. In the summer, I have been known to take that big plant outside. That is a fake one from Ikea, but I love it. It's our, our bamboo. We do like bamboo. We, we've got a lot of it in our garden as well. Um, and that has really flourished, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, in the summer, I do take that plant outside and hose it off with the hose because then it gets all the dust off because i just can't dust it inside um and now this sideboard was horrendous oh my goodness me it was terrible dark furniture attracts dust like nobody's business it really does i just i don't know i don't know what we were thinking we like dark furniture but i just don't know what we were thinking i mean i like light furniture as well but because you know living with your husband you have to compromise so we had to find something that we both liked not that just one of us liked and we both like dark furniture um but yeah honestly the amount of dust it attracts you dust and then the next day it looks like you haven't even bothered so it's quite a soul destroying task to be honest um which is why just recently i've let it go a little bit you know i've been like elsa i've let it go just a little bit oh there i am i'm dancing and singing away to um I think we're listening to some 60s rock now and I know that Jimi Hendrix is playing um, along the Watchtower, I really like that one. But I also think I had Bad Moon Rising on which I really like that song too. Um, yeah, just I love music when I'm cleaning because it's just a bit of a motivator isn't it? Um, quite, or I'll, I'll put something on like my phone, like a, a Netflix show or something but I do enjoy a bit of music. Um, we are coming towards the end of this clean now. Thank goodness, because I was exhausted by the end of this. Gareth was like, you have worked so hard today. Well done. I mean, admittedly, he'd worked hard as well. While, while the party chaos was going on inside, he took refuge in the garden, like trimming the hedges and things, <laughs> um, just to get away from the noise. But he did say, you have worked so hard. Well done. Which he always does after one of the kids' parties and things. And if I've done a big cleaning session, he does. He really does appreciate it and how hard I work. But I do hope you've enjoyed this cleaning with me after a children's party. It always gets trashed, doesn't it? So there's no point cleaning beforehand. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I do lots and lots of videos and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Leave me some comments down below and take care, everybody. I'll see you really soon in the next video.